Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial. Today, it's all about the new Avoni Dynamic Component Package. This is what I'm going to show you today to give you an overview of what are Avoni Dynamic Components. So first, it's a new package of the Avoni Components that work standalone exclusively for Lightning Pages. So here, I'm not talking about flow-based component. I'm talking about standalone component that can be placed to any Lightning Pages that will load instantly on the page, no more performance issue, everything will be seamless and reactive as well. So this is a demo I built, marketing campaign performance. This is not a screen flow. This is an Avoni dynamic component I place into here my home page. It's loading extremely fast and everything is functional. So what I did, I put like checkbox button to be able to switch from one list to another. So basically it's only one dynamic component with multiple data table inside mixed with some set component visibility rule. So let me show you how to create this from scratch. First, when you install the Avoni Dynamic Component Package, when you click on the App Launcher, you will see the Avoni Component App. And from there, you will be able to manage all your Avoni Dynamic Component. So let's say I want to create a new demo. Let's say Marketing. That's the name of my new Dynamic Component. Now, we build our own Dynamic Component Builder. From there, you can easily build and create any custom solution you want for your Salesforce Lightning Pages using all the Avoni Dynamic Component available. So you can see on the left side, you have all the, the Avoni Components. And all you need to do is really drag and drop any component into the canvas. So here, let's say I like to start by dragging the card. And we need just to create a consistent layout. So here under container, I have the card. You see there is a bunch of new components available as well. Container, columns, accordion, a lot of them. So let's drag the card. Let's say now marketing campaign performance. Let's select an icon. Okay. Now for the card, you also have access to the style and you can also create your own custom style class. So let's say custom card. That's my default custom card. So that's useful if you have to reuse the same component and create common class for the same component. So here, let's say on the header, I like to set 18, normal, text color. Let's pick up blue, border color. Okay. And border bottom size, one pixel. Okay, perfect. You can also fine tune the border if you'd like to have a border, if you'd like to apply radius. Everything can be customizable from there. So I get my card set up. But what I like the most here about the Avoni Dynamic Component is the ability to see everything you're building. You see everything live while you're building it. And you also get access to slots. So that's possible to drag other components inside the card, for example. So let's say I'd like to drag a column on the right side. You see? There is like slots where you can embed other components into that slot. So let's say I like to create two columns. And then from the two columns, I'd like to add now on the first column a text. And the name of the, the text content would be filter by. Okay. And on the second column, I want to add checkbox group to have my option. So let's say, okay, option for the first checkbox group leads generated generated the value would be leads that's the unique identifier of this specific option let's say the second one would be opportunities created and last one would be closed one closed okay so now i can fine tune the checkbox group which is also the input choice set component so here I can say, okay, variant, I want to hide the label. Okay. The type, I don't want to have checkboxes. So I want to select button. And now for the button, I want to, no, I don't need to have multi-select. I want to only be able to select one button at a time. Horizontal orientation. Yes, that's way better. And then now let's say display as well. Okay, perfect. Now, one last thing I like to do is to define a default value when this dynamic component is loaded. So default value will be leads. So that would be the default button selected by default. So now I can say, oh, okay, for let's get back to the column component. 
because you see there is like some, it's not aligned. I want to align, uh, you know, vertically the text with the button group. So again, everything is visual while you're, while you're building this. And finally, for the colon, you can also play with horizontal spacing to add some extra space. Okay, perfect. Now, next, let's drag the data table component inside the card. And that's my first data table. So here I need to create a query to display a list of leads. So create query, and uh, let's say a get leads, API name. I want to query the lead object. I don't need to filter the information. That's okay. Save. Now, because the, cre the query is created, I can drag the column. I can create column on the data table. Add column. Let's say I want to display the full name of the lead, linkify. You can also make this field a detable, featureable, searchable. Perfect. Let's add another column, maybe the status. Okay. And finally, we can also add maybe phone. Why not? Text would be phone type. Click to dial. You can make it a detable, featureable, searchable as well. Okay. Great. Awesome. So we can even go back on the card again and maybe toggle this option, expand to content fit. Way better. Perfect. Also, at any time, you can preview what you're building. So here you have this preview button, and you get a preview of your custom dynamic component. This is the first data table, but I don't need to always display this data table. I only want this data table to be displayed when this button is clicked. So here I will select the data table, and from the data table, here you will see set component visibility to set a component visibility role on condition, add condition. So I want to display this data table when the input choice set value is equal to leads. That's the value of the first option. So now there is a component visibility role. What I can do next, I can drag just below this one, another data table. Again, this time I want to display opportunities created. So let's say query, create a query, get opportunities, and query the opportunity object. And here, if you want to display only recent created opportunities, you can add a condition based on the created date is equal to the date literal value. So let's say in the last two years, just to make sure I have some data to display. Save. And then you do the same thing. You do the mapping. So you're creating your column. On the opportunity, I want to display the name of the opportunity, linkify. Then you want to display the amount. It's a currency. You can make this a detable as well, featureable, searchable, anything you want. OK, perfect. And let's add uh, probability. Probability, why? Because I love the probability and I can, I can also enhance the visualization of the probability using a progress bar. So progress bar, show value, save. Okay, now this data table is set up. We do the same thing. We need to set a component visibility rule to only display this data table when the input choice set value is equal to the name of the option, the value of the option, which is opportunities on my case. OK, now let's do a preview. Let's preview this. First data table is displayed. Perfect. Great. It works. And you see, it's loading extremely fast. I mean, I can repeat the same process. It's exactly the same process for the third data table. I will not do this for this example, because this is really to show you the basics. The other thing I like to show you on this dynamic component builder, it's yes, you get access to all the Avoni dynamic component, but you also get access to the resources tab where you can create resources like constant, formula, nested queries, query, variable. You also have the ability to create interaction on button action, even on load interaction. So you basically on, on load interaction allows you to execute an auto launch flow before the component is loaded or get records before this component is loaded. Very useful, powerful. I will do some videos uh, in the coming days regarding this. Then you have the style and also you have the structure. So once you've done with that, you can say save and don't forget to activate. By clicking on activate, this component will be ready to use on your landing page. 
So it's creating marketing campaign performance. That's the name of my dynamic component. So now your component is activated, is ready to use, how you can add it into any lightning page. You simply go here, edit page, you open app builder, and from there, you will get access under custom managed component to the Avony dynamic component. You're dragging the Avony dynamic component, and then you select the component you want to display on the page. That's it. Save, and you're done. And now you can see this component live in action on a page. Everything is fully functional. You see the set component visibility all in action. You can display multiple data tables at once. You can really set a lot of things with that. So that's really an overview demo of the Avony dynamic components. That's really no highly technical. It's really to show you a preview of this. If you'd like to give it a try, it's available on the App Exchange. I will put a link uh, in the video description to install the Avony dynamic component package. Thank you so much for watching this.